Hello, Star Citizens, Buzzkiller here, and welcome back to the channel. Now, today, I just wanted to go on a little bit of a Star Citizen rant, and the issue I want to bring up is the issues with the Mustang. Now, this is a starter ship. This is one of the very first packages you're presented with when you pledge for Star Citizen. You have two main choices. You have the Aurora MR package and the Mustang Alpha package, and... The biggest problem with the Mustang Alpha is it's probably the more attractive of the two because one, it's worth $5 more on trade, and two, it's just a cooler looking ship. So most people are probably going to gravitate towards the Mustang Alpha. Now the problem with the Mustang Alpha is it just can't do some of the basic starter missions like a courier mission. So here you see I'm walking up to the ship right now, and I did actually manage to get the cargo into the ship. I just opened the canopy and I used the place function here and I kind of jiggered around with it a little bit. And you can see that I finally ended up actually getting it in fine. It was kind of a little wonky, but here, just watch for a second. So I finally find a spot, I put it in, and you see it's kind of jiggering around in there a little bit. So I get up trying to close, trying to see if I can maybe get it back out no luck. So I figured at this point it's in the ship, I'll take it to the drop-off location and see if I can get it to actually work at the drop-off location. I had a couple ideas that I might want to try out and uh, yeah, so that's what I did. So as I approached the drop-off location I decided to get really really close to the building just to try and minimize the amount of time it took to get from the ship to the building and in case I had to pick it up and maybe, you know, scoot it on the ground or I don't know. I just wanted to be close and try to get it as quickly as possible. So here I get out of the ship. And obviously once you get out of the ship, the canopy closes, so I had to reopen it. And then again, I tried to reach up into the ship to get the box, but unfortunately it had shifted even further back, so that just wasn't going to happen. Happen. So I tried jumping up into the ship, I tried climbing various ways, uh, I, there was absolutely no way I could get into the ship to get the box. So at this point I got the novel idea to turn the ship upside down and see if I could shake the box out of the ship and let it get it to land on the ground. Now, what I didn't realize is because the Mustang Beta has a physics grid, all the Mustangs have a physics, physics grid. So, as you can see, the box stayed right where it was. So, I, after a second, I thought, well, let me go ahead and try to land it upside down and maybe I can reach up and grab the box from inside the ship. Obviously the canopy closed, so I had to reopen it. And the ship was kind of rocking at this point, so I was waiting for it to get close to the ground and thinking maybe I could, I could get a grab on it just standing here and maybe pick the box up out of the floor of the ship. Of course that didn't work. So my next thought was maybe if I can jump and get into the physics grid of the ship I'd be able to maybe get the box out and jump out with it. And this took me a little while to accomplish but eventually I did get there. After messing around for a while I did finally find the way up and you can see I jumped and I just sort of flipped over and landed on top of the box. From here I was able to actually pick up the box. Of course my interaction menu got a little bit bugged so I had to fiddle with that for a second. But once I did I picked up the box and then my next problem came. I couldn't jump over the seat to get out of the cockpit because the box was too heavy. I can't jump with the box. So I thought maybe well what if I try placing it on the ground? And for a second there, I did get a little marker. I don't know, maybe it was on the canopy. Uh, 
but eventually I decided just to throw the box. So I threw the box, and I know that Star Citizen cleans up these boxes so fast, so I was jumping, 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 trying to get out, and just as I pick it up, had it in my hand, poop, it's gone. And yeah, that was it. So yeah, you could see how this would be extremely frustrating to a new player. I mean, you just spent $45 on this game, and to get started, you want a ship that can at least do the basic missions. I mean, these are supposed to be starter ships. You're supposed to get a little taste of everything you can do in the verse. Uh, of course, minus the major uh, things like uh, mining or stuff like that, but... It's a courier ship. You'd think you could pick up a box and take it to point B, from point A to point B, and turn it in and make a little bit of money and get you get you started in your starter ship. Now the the Mustang isn't really good for anything else. Its its combat ability is is so woefully inadequate uh, that you can't do anything like bounty hunter missions or any combat missions in the ship. So really, all that's left is courier missions, and when you can't even do that. I don't know. It, I think it just sends the wrong message to the new backers. So we should have ships that are able to do the basic missions as the starter ship, like the Aurora. The Aurora, still, I recommend the Aurora as a starter ship, even though it's not worth as much as the Mustang, unless you're planning on directly upgrading that Mustang right away to something like the Avenger Titan, which is a great starter ship. That's probably the starter ship everyone should get. Um, but, yeah, some people just want to pay their basic price and get in and try to play the game. And when they get hit right in the face with these instant frustrations, it's just it, it, it's just not the way to do business. So I hope CIG sees this video, or at least is aware of this problem, and is doing something actively to fix it. Because right now, I just I can't recommend that ship whatsoever. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I still love Star Citizen. I'm still a fan. I just want things to be a little bit better, at least for the new players, so that, you know, the game continues to grow and prosper. So, anyway, that's it for my rant. Until next time, this has been Buzzkiller, and I'll see you in the verse.